Kapusa here on Harry Potter Talk. My name is Panisha Kapusa. I have no affiliation with Geneva Kapusa for those of you who think I do. <laughs> well, this is going to be a bi-weekly show, I guess, <laughs> on YouTube for you to watch so I can be your news bringer. What, 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 whatever that word is. Uh, big subject right now, big stuff happening in the Harry Potter world. Um, I am currently in my 60 year at Hogwarts. I'm a Slytherin, but believe me, believe me, I'm a good Slytherin. Um, I'm not a Death Eater yet. <laughs> First, we're going to talk about Potter podcasting. And as you can see, I do support Potter podcasting. My favorite podcast. Really good. If you go to the Leaky Cauldron dot net or something, I don't know, it's right there. <laughs> Obviously, I've got a short term memory. Anyways, we have Sue, who's a Hufflepuff. Hi, Sue. We have Melissa and Ellie, who has the most adorable little moochka. And then, of course, we can never forget John and his dollish. <laughs> That's so horrible. He doesn't have a dollish, but he's all about the dollish. Uh, I'm all about the dollish too. And uh, I mostly am about the whole Moochka dollish Potter Cat combination name. I love it, I love it. Um, if you search up Potter Cat or search up Moochka dollish, you, you'll find it. You'll find it right on YouTube. Uh, it's the most adorable pros and cons of Potter Cats. First pro. Really good. They really know their Potter. They don't. Very, very, very rarely do I hear them simply say something incorrectly. Um, for the most part, they just they just really know it. They don't. They don't forget for people because then they have interviews with people like that girl from uh, uh, Scholastic or Arthur Levine. Arthur L. Levine that does the uh, what's the American books. That was good. That was, I really felt that. So that's a pro. They do have... Um, John is hilarious. Sue, so I love her little squee thing. And Melissa... No, 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 no. It's so wonderful. Um, so let's talk about MuggleCast. Um, I'm not wearing my MuggleCast shirt today, but I do have... I think I have two! <laughs> I've got one on my wall up here, and I've got one to wear. <laughs> you know... Mugglecast is for decoration. I really like Mugglecast, but there's a lot of times where they just don't know their shit. <laughs> there's a lot of times where they go on and on talking about, well, maybe, maybe Harry Potter's dad is still alive. And then finally, after four hours of conversation, somebody finally brings up the point that Harry Potter's dad cannot be alive. <laughs> Because otherwise, how would he have come out of Voldemort's wall than the end of Goblet of Fire? Hmm. So, sometimes they just don't know their shit. But the good point is, us Potter fans, we're out there, we're out there messaging them, emailing them, and tell them where they've gone wrong. Um, however, the good, another really good part about Mugglecast is the people. Jamie, wonderful. I love you, mate. You just, mmm. Hilarious, hilarious. Uh, um, I love the girl. I don't know what the girl's name is. <laughs> oh, I'll find out. I'll tell you next week or next that well next episode. Whatever. Um, Andrew, Andrew's good. Uh, Dollish. That's all I can say. <laughs> um, pickle. I gotta say pickle too. <laughs> Dollish pickle! Dollish is pickle! Ew! <laughs> Next thing we're going to talk about is something I really like in the Porter world, and that is the bands. Draco and the Malfoys, Harry and the Poppers, the Remus, the Remus Lupins. I'm all about the Remus Lupins. I just bought the CD. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. <laughs> but right now, I'm going to play a song and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to kick you in the face. I might do it 27 times. Just in case I know nothing could ever replace The picture in my mind of a kick in the face I love that song. It's such a fast feeling to it. Um, I'm, I'm confusing the lyrics a little. Um, I mean, I don't know 
this does not do. This is pop. Oh, he says something about making hair in this suit too. So then, I don't really get it. Why? Is, does Draco really like Duran Duran? Harry not like Duran Duran? Oh, I don't really like Duran Duran. Um. Alright, the final segment of this episode is going to be my favorite Harry Potter news of the week, alongside with my most hated Harry Potter news of the week. My favorite part is the fact that Joe finally updated her site. Oh, thank you, Joe. And you know what? Thank you, Micah. From Paul, uh, no, MuggleCast. <laughs> I got confused. Ah. <laughs> thank you, Micah, from MuggleCast for telling her, hello, update your sign, it's been forever. Um, for my worst news of the week would have to be all this hubbub about 750 pages versus the whole, you know, book seven comes out in July. I just, all right, you know what? I'm so tired of rumors that aren't true. Because you log in and you read JKR says 750 pages and you're like yes and then you read it and then you're like you know piss this hell. I mean boy people can't you just accept the truth and just say the truth? So I give my frowny face of the week to the tabloid that blew it all out of proportion and really put a dabber on Joe's fun and the great new Rupert Crit movie. We're going to end with the final segment of the day, which is me showcasing off my love for Harry Potter, as you get to see my totally Potter out room. Woo! I'm Penelope Capuza, tune in again the next time I've got one. <laughs> bye! 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 <laughs> Thank you.